is Ralph Irvin at the Rose Bowl, where Saturday night the UCLA Bruins opened their 2013 season with a 58-20 win over Nevada. UCLA hit the scoreboard on their first drive when Brett Hundley ran in from 37 yards out. It was fun and a blessing. I mean, uh, you know, I just pulled the ball and then took off, used a guy giving speed, and from there, I mean, the end zone was mine, and I just had to take it. The Bruins reached the end zone once again in the second quarter when Hundley hit Shaq Evans for a five-yard touchdown. We've been working. I mean, just another year in this offense. I mean, we, we're all experienced. We all know what to do. We all are on the same page. So it's, we just got a machine rolling. We got the athletes, and uh, we just got it rolling tonight. In the second half, UCLA broke it wide open. Hundley led off the scoring, running in from 11 yards out. And all the touchdowns are amazing, but, uh, you know, they're just blessings. I mean, you know, if I get the ball, I'm going to try to run and get a touchdown every time. But uh, that was one, you know, I got another touchdown, so I was happy. All told, UCLA scored 41 points in the second half and finished with 647 yards of total offense, 345 of those coming on the ground. The offensive line, they did a great job. They were pushing people um, past the line of scrimmage for about four, three or four yards, and uh, it was easy to make one cut and just I was already in the secondary already. I thought our execution tonight was good. Our offensive game plan was to come in you know, and establish a run game. Um, we knew that um, they ran a four-man front and we wanted to you know, establish a run game so the pass would open up. I think early on they were uh, dropping a few more in coverage, you know, so um, I guess inviting our run game you know, and challenging it, and uh, we rose to the challenge as an offensive line. I was very impressed with Alex Redman, how he played tonight. After playing Nevada tough in the first half, the defense shut them down in the second, giving up just 132 yards. Yeah, you know, they had a really mo mobile quarterback, and he came to play today. You know, I mean, he, he played with a lot of heart, and it was hard to contain him, but we got, we got adjustments uh, at halftime, and we played, we played great. It was assignment football. You know, that's the type of football we had to play with this kind of quarterback and this type of offense. And, um, you know, I feel like we had guys the first, first half trying to play outside themselves and outside the defense and trying to do a little too much. And so we made an emphasis when we got back in the locker room, it was do your assignment. Do your assignment, and that's how you can best up the team. So when we went back out, I feel like everybody did a lot better job doing their assignment. And it was a banner night for many freshmen getting their first experience playing for UCLA. We had rotation for sure, and our freshmen are studs, man. I mean, that's only just uh, that's just a glimpse of the future, but those guys are studs, and they can come in, they can rotate, and they can relieve guys, and it's nice being able to come off and get a breather, get some time to chill, because when I get back on the field, I'll be at 100% again. First game experience, I mean, it was it was awesome. I mean, just coming out, I've never played in front of that many people before, so that was, that was crazy, and just, you know, just coming out and actually, you know, having a role with the team, just coming out and playing in, like, big-time games, Situations that was cool and just you know earning the coaches trust that they would put me in those situations. So I mean the game was crazy. It was it was real. It was great. It was fun you know playing in front of thousands of people on a, on a great defense. The great linebackers that you've been watching on TV and you get to play with them. So it's it's it was definitely great. Once again UCLA a 58-20 winner over Nevada. The Bruins are back in action in two weeks when they travel to Nebraska. And of course the best news and notes on UCLA football. Get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.